Okay, welcome back. Last time we did the register file. Let's put our uh, little PDF up there. We did a register file, source target destination, write data, contents of one of the registers, contents of one of the registers, 32 registers in here. What we want to do today is do a test bench to actually test out that it works the way we think it should work. Okay, So let's do that. Um, let's close these files right here. We did our reg file right there. Let's open that guy. And what we want to do at this point, let's add a new source. Let's call this TB. Um, let's see, we'll just make it the same name. TB register file. I'll make it a test bench file. And let's see, that when you do a test bench, it asks you which component do you want to test, because we've got several, ALU, MIPS, MUX, sign extender, register file. Well, of course, we want register file, so make sure that's selected. Finish, and it'll stub me out a test bench file. And let's see, come down to here, and uh, let's uh, maybe we'll need that numeric standard later. Okay, now here's the 87 form, and I need to figure out how to change the default on that because I don't like using 87. Um, let's see, I'm not going to use any clocks on this guy, so I'll delete that. And here is where I instantiate this guy. So let's change this from the VHDL. 87 format to the 93 format and then you'll need the uh, Haverhill port map there you go all right so yeah so that instantiates this guy now let's call this just what do you want to call this let's call this like a u1 reg file or how about that u1 reg yeah that's a good one and let's see it stubs out two processes we're not going to use the clock process so get rid of that and we will use the stimulus, but let's get rid of what's currently in there. And let's do my usual assert false trick. Helps my eyeballs see the screen. Okay, and then we'll put some stuff in there. Now at this point, let's see, let's go up to here and change our variables. Let's play that game. Let's do TB underscore. And what we'll do is we'll put that in front of all these guys so we know these are variables of the test bench file. Okay. And they just got mapped over from the entity of the component we instantiated. And let's see, the variables on the left are part of the component. The ones on the right are part of this file. So let's change their name as well. Okay. And then we'll go to our stimulus process and we'll actually start changing some variables and see what happens. So the first thing I think I want to do is I want to write or I want to read. Let's read the register. So let's put in some VHDL here. Let's raise this guy up here and we'll put in some VHDL that looks like this. And what I'm doing is I'm testing the ability to read the reg file. Well, you can read two registers at once, right? So uh, those are the registers specified by the <coughs> source and target bits. So what I'm going to do is I am going to loop from 0 to 30. And there's 32 registers, so I should think it'd, you'd think it'd be 0 to 31. But I'm going to read register I and register I plus 1. So the first time through, I'm going to read register 0, which is the 0 register, and then register 1, which I think is the AT register. Okay, And um, I'm going to put those values into TB read register 1 and TB read register 2. Those are the 5-bit input quantities on my um, register, and they typically are the source and target uh, bits from an R-type instruction. Okay. And then I'm going to wait 25 nanoseconds. Then I'm going to loop through, increment I to 1, and I'm going to print out register, or I'm going to set up register 1 and register 2, then register 2 and register 3, register 4 and register 5, register 5 and 6, and so forth. As I change these guys here, then the output should magically appear on um, TB read data 1 and TB read data 2. And I think at that point, we're pretty much good to test the reading, so let's do that. Let's um, find our reg file. There's our reg file. Let's make sure it's all just synced up with the correct syntax, and it is. Then we'll select the test bench and um, make sure that guy compiles. Oh, we got some errors here. Oh, what are my errors? Well, let's see. I know what they are. Yeah, so remember I'm converting um, I defaults to an integer. You have to convert it to an unsigned, and then from an unsigned you can convert it to a standard logic, which is what read reg1 is. Well, how do we use unsigned? Yeah, we got to put our old friend in here, and that's why it kind of stubs out with that guy, because chances are you're going to use it anyway. All right, let's start the process again. Let's uh, get the register file compiled, even though we didn't do anything with it. Test bench, check syntax on that, and it should be good. So at this point right now, I highlight the test bench, and I double-click Simulate Behavioral Model, 
And let's see, we're going to have a real estate problem here, but let's uh, let's try to do it anyway. And let's see. Yeah, so at that point right there, if I do zoom to full view, you can kind of see what's happening here. Yeah, that's kind of, I can't really scroll that back anymore, can I? I could probably scroll this back and then zoom to full view. But yeah, look what's going on here. Um, up here, what I'm doing is I'm changing the, f let me open this up a little bit more. Yeah, because those guys were five bits. I'm changing the five bits that was on read reg one and read reg two. So I'm saying read register zero and one. Now I'm saying read register one and two, two and three, three and four, four and five. So these I'm telling it to read the registers. Now what comes out of read data one and read data two, well, let's say, let's zoom in a little bit here. Yeah, there you go. You can kind of see it. Yeah. So I'm telling to read register zero. Zero has quad zero, quad zero. Telling it to read register one on the second input, and that has quad one, quad one. Register one and two has quad one and quad one, quad two, quad two. Two and three have quad two, quad two, quad three, quad three. And that's why I need. That's why I put the contents of those registers there, so like the same value as the number of the register, so I could tell if I was reading correctly. And if you kind of scroll along here, we're basically going through all the possible registers. Yeah, so all the way up here, you know, this is uh, hex 16, which is, um, you know, what's that? That's like register 22, and it's uh, 5 and 6, 15 and 16. And then uh, now those are in hex values, right? They're not in decimal values. Yeah, maybe I should change those guys to decimal. Yeah, Right-click, radix, um, let's see, unsigned decimal, yeah. And then let's do this one, right-click, uh, radix, unsigned decimal. Yeah, because that's kind of what we're more familiar with in class, aren't we? Yeah, because like register uh, 30 and 31, that's down there. That's like, um, what is that? That's like the, oh, I think it's the, the stack pointer and the return address. And then uh, which one's T0? T0 is register 8. Yeah, so T0 is register 8. There's T0, T1, and yeah, it's all 8s and all 9s. If we go back and see what we set up T0 to be, there's my register file. Go to my register file implementation, and yeah. T0 was all 8s, and T1 was all 9s. And there you go. All right, perfect. All right, so there's the read part. So we're able to read this fine, just fine. Now I could actually kind of verify this, but I could come over here and I could select on that component. And inside that component, I could actually right-click here and say Add to Waveform, and that's the, in, that's the actual two-dimensional array that holds all that stuff. That's like the physical register file. So then you come back here, you do Replay, and Restart, Rerun All. And then if we zoom to full view, now what I can do is I can open up this register and it shows me. You know, there's my zero register, my one register, two, three, four. These are all my 32 registers. So let's see, if I go over here to like uh, register eight, well, that's T0. T0 has quad eight, quad eight. T1 has quad nine, quad nine. T2 has quad eight, quad eight. So you can kind of see that, yeah, in fact, if you kind of, let's see, let's uh, zoom in here. And... Um, yeah, come back to here and see, like, for example, at this point, I'm saying go read register 2 and 3. Well, register 2 is quad 2, quad 2. Register 3 is quad 3, quad 3. But if I go down here and I look at register 2, it is quad 2, quad 3. And register 3 is quad 3, quad 3. All right? So I think we have successfully implemented the register file. Let's do one more thing. Let's write a register and see if we can uh, look at that. Yeah, so let me exit this, exit out of here. And let's see, let's write a register. So I've got that code right here. And let's see, let's um, go into our test bench file. I'll scroll down to here. I'll insert the write code right here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to comment out the read code because it, I just don't have enough real estate to show you with all that. And what we're going to do is I'm going to specify which register to write, which is going to be register 8, T0. Okay? And then I am going to put uh, uh, A5, 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 A5 into there. But originally, T0 was all 8s. So I'm going to overwrite it with A5, A5. And then I'm going to wait for 50 nanoseconds because I'm going to load up the data. I'm going to wait a little bit. And then I'm going to pulse reg right. Wait 5 nanoseconds and then bring reg right low again. And I should have written register T0. All right, so let's try that. Let's go up to here, register. Check syntax on that guy. And let's see, did I save my test bench or my test bench? Yeah, I think I did. So let's check the syntax on that. And then let's simulate this guy and see if we can actually write register 8 by pulsing the reg right symbol. Now, I have a little delay on pulsing reg right. All right, let's look and see what happened here. Um, yeah, so notice my write data is right here, and it's got A5, A5s on it. 
and let's see I, I pulse reg right right here all right so that's good I'm pulsing that out there and let's see let's go actually go bring in the um, bring this guy in which is the contents of the reg file and then we'll zoom to full view and you can actually see what's happening here let me if I zoom out here a little bit I'll actually zoom to full view yeah so if I open this guy up let's open it up and notice yeah here we have register 8 this is register 8 notice it's quad 8 quad 8 and then oops it looks like I uh, I need more real estate, yeah. And then at this point right here, what do we do? I assert reg right. Well, notice that this bus, you know, that has all those 32, 32 reg has a change right here when I assert reg right. Well, what's the change? Register 8, which is T0, is changing from quad 8, quad 8 to A5, 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 A5. There you go. Yeah, and uh, notice the registers below aren't changing. So we essentially have effectively written T0. Nice. So I think it's uh, it's working. Read and write functionality. All right. I'm going to stop here, and uh, we'll take a look at another component next time.